The Messel Lake is, of course, famous for its complete fossils. There's many complete fossils, and they're all lying in resting position. It seems like they died a very quiet, non-violent death. The Messel Pit has yielded an amazing selection of fossilised plants and animals. Once they've been removed from the surrounding shale, they reveal an astonishingly diverse prehistoric world. Over 200 different types of animal and bird have been recovered from the site so far, showing that the pit was once in the heart of a thriving tropical rainforest. Several types of crocodile have been recovered, along with turtles, snakes and other reptiles. These animals only thrive in hot climates. The birds from the pit often have preserved feathers. And many of the amphibians show soft body outlines. Insects are sometimes huge, and some still coloured after millions of years. Most abundant of all are the bats. More specimens have been pulled from this one site than discovered in the whole of America. Other mammals, like the very first horses, only the size of a small dog, are beautifully intact. And others are not yet fully understood. Messel has yielded the only fossilised anteater of its type found outside of southern America. Nobody can explain how it got here. Messel is a really, really unique locality. It's one of the top very, very few localities with this kind of fabulous preservation. Maybe number one, even. It's like a peak hole into a, a whole community, a whole ecosystem in the Eocene, that suddenly you see that everything you find usually as small pieces of things, you have complete in this one locality, one place in the world. And that's, that's, that's something that paleontologists really, really treasure. It was uh, in the beginning of the 70s of last century that mining came to an end. And uh, so they began to look for fossils here and they had a remarkable success. Yeah? So uh, they um, consequently applied um, the transfer technique of uh, preparation and by that step by step uh, the real value, the scientific value of the locality became more and more known. Uh, application uh, was uh, made uh, for, at the UNESCO uh, in order to turn Messel into a World Heritage Site and this was decided uh, positively. And Every year there are new discoveries, new and exciting uh, discoveries. So this is like a, uh, like a holy grail for paleontology. The Eocene period is really important and, uh, and, and climatically it's really interesting too because you have a hothouse. This is the warmest time in Earth history in recent times. If you say 50 million years ago is quite recent. So this is... Uh, a time when there's between three and ten times as much CO2 in the atmosphere as today. And it's, it's really a very, very warm climate. There's no ice, polar ice caps uh, and you have jungle in the whole of Europe. And life is thriving. There's so much mammals around. There's a whole new wave of modern mammals coming in from Asia. There's a lot of other old timers that survived when the dinosaurs got extinct that are still around and, and all this uh, we find in Messel and this goes on for a few more million years we know from other fossil localities this, this, uh, this blooming of life, this, this greenhouse, the, this very very warm earth and then you have the cooling, the cooling really kills off a lot of the old-fashioned mammals if you draw a line, you cannot wish for a better locality than Messel because this is, you, you have the beginning of almost all the mammal groups you see around today, like bats and horses and whales and, uh, uh, and carnivores and so on. So, so you have a lot of, lot of groups that are evolving at this time of the modern mammals.